I did the show sober once. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I just want to warn you, this show's going to bug you. This show's going to... It's already starting. <laughs> wow, it started quickly. So, uh, tell, tell me about this nighttime adventure that's been bugging you all day. Okay, so last night, no joke, this really I had happened. I this first thing this morning. So you know all the rains that we've been having? Yeah. Well, there's all of these mosquitoes at nighttime when the sun goes down and they try to come yeah, in the house. When they come we out. live in a desert, so mosquitoes are a totally new thing, kind of, well, seasonal. <laughs> they're not, okay, they're not really new. Neither, but, <laughs> but okay, I think roll we with have, it. I think we have times of mosquitoes and then no times of mosquitoes. Okay. But John bought me... This bug zapper. A bug zapper? For inside the house. Well, I thought it was in, for inside I've never the house. Seen it it's very the tiny. Bug zapper, okay. Okay. And. You sure it's not a patio one? I don't know, but it was super cute and tiny. So I was like, oh, well, and it makes it like a nice light for if you walk through the middle of the living room at nighttime. Don't go to the light. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay. So. so I have it on in the living room, but I'm I'm scrolling through my phone last night and a mosquito lands on my face and I'm like, oh no, and I see the light and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get that light closer to Did me. Did you go to the light? Well, I went to the light and okay. I brought it back mm -hmm. and I put it right next to my nightstand. Right next to you. And I was going to USB it and like charge it up because it's go. a chargeable. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm just kind of sitting there and then I got my lava lamps over there and um, you have lava lamps and mosquito lights in your well, bedroom. It's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice ambiance. So, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> the mosquito thing, I don't realize, because all the other lights are out, that it's going to maybe attract all of the mosquitoes to me, and I'm in between the mosquitoes and the light. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I feel a bunch of spikes. And then, <laughs> and then it one of them... You landed right on my eyeball like right in my tear duct right there can uh -huh. you see that where it's like yeah and it stabbed me it with stabbed its you. proboscis in the eye with yes. its nose <laughs> proboscis okay. and uh it felt so painful it was the most excruciating pain mm -hmm. it was like being stabbed with an eyelash wow. but then it gets really itchy like mm -hmm. you're having an allergy attack mm -hmm. so i ran into the bedroom and i'm trying to squeeze all the allergy drops into my eyeballs uh -huh. and then all of a sudden i didn't know the bug zapper would do this is it started zapping because i guess a moth or something flew into it the bug zapper started <laughs> bug zapping a bug who knew <laughs> i didn't know it would give off these like really loud pops <laughs> okay so can I ask you something? Did these adventures happen before New Mexico legalized or have they happened since New Mexico legalized? I don't know anything about that, but I know I was like, I'm going <laughs> to... Well, that maybe nice. she has a bug. It barely, oh, she barely caught it. Like, <laughs> that was nice. That was not nice. <laughs> There's a lady who knows that a mattress is old So she's buying a new one that live well When she gets there she'll find That the staff is so kind And they'll help her to get what she came for What oh. an enthralling story. Okay, so I have to let you know that I did make it outside with it, although when I approached it, I felt like I was approaching <laughs> oh, a Tesla coil. <sighs> I went, and Lyle agreed. This was, he said, did you know Lyle told me that you can roast hot dogs on one of those things? <laughs> Hi, I'm Javier. <laughs> And I'm Melanie. <laughs> and this is Fishbowl, our weekly get-together with you guys. Has oh. nothing to do with whatever she's been talking no, about. No, that is a true story. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> this is our weekly get-together with you guys. It's almost painful sometimes. Our weekly get-together with you guys to go over all things mattress shopping, all things furniture shopping, help you with some very helpful sleep tips, and give you the occasional... Uh, 
information on bugs because sure. we're going to be rolling into bugs and bed bugs coming up. Ooh, nice. All so, right. Yeah. So tell me about your week other than last night. <laughs> we're done with last <laughs> night. <laughs> no more last okay, night. Okay, it really messed up my sleep hygiene. It did? All right. That, okay. that was a big Is thing. Is that what's going on? Tell me all about it. Oh, that was huge. Okay. Um, so... Well, it, I, we can't because you said you didn't want to. That oh my gosh! It's Tell done. me enough about the sleep hygiene for crying out loud. <laughs> That's gonna be later in the show. Oh, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I did the show sober one time, and let me tell you, it was hard. Uh, so my week's been really good. We've had a lot of people come in that are new to town. We have mm -hmm. 19 deliveries next week. I know, it's kind of freaking me out. For some reason, Gavin's just chill about it. We have 19 deliveries next week. Uh, that is a lot of deliveries, yeah. In one week. In one like, week, yeah. That's all coming on one truck. Yeah. And it's gonna be awesome. I want to alphabetize the list that's on the, the Yeah, we're not touching that. <laughs> Can you imagine our tiny team doing 19 deliveries? It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I hope Gavin We'll be gets to your prepared. house soon. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. actually we look forward to it. <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be great. So but what got, was your comment? What was your comment though? After you saw the after you and I saw the list, what was your comment? They all have to be five star five deliveries. star deliveries. So yeah. we gotta work hard to make them five star deliveries. That's what we're looking for. Yep. But everybody's been uh, really awesome. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna thank our uh, customers. They've mm -hmm. been super loyal with us. Very, very uh, wonderful people and we appreciate you. There's been a couple of people that have had to wait three or four weeks because now with trucking and fuel they've slowed us down again so yeah i think it's the new trend i think that this is just going to be kind of like the ebb and flow mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the instability of the it's, universe it's all about adapting <laughs> so, it's all about adapting so anyways guys, <laughs> guys we went from we went from three weeks of basically uh, twiddling our fingers or thumbs and just be like mm -hmm, you know, we'd get the occasional customer to a week and a half of, holy cow, that's a whole lot of people coming in here. It rained. It, it poured. Rained. Yeah. All at the same time. I yeah. feel really blessed yes. um, that that happened to us. It could not have happened at a, a better timing for us as a company. So, so who is top, who's top salesperson, you or Gavin? I don't know. We're still duking it out. And he's mopping the floor. He has this whole dance uh -huh. that he does. And okay. He's like a mopping. Should we film that? We could, yeah. Okay. I think he'd okay. be in for that. And okay. then uh, he thinks he's mopping the floor. No, we gotta film it when he's not looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, hopefully he doesn't watch. This. Let's do it tomorrow because Ooh. the show. Okay. We're kind of like playing with time here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, that okay. sounds like a plan. And then we'll insert it here. All right. So. so so tell me about these notes that you did tonight because these are like the coolest notes I've ever seen you do. What do you mean? I just hand wrote my notes instead of having crazy. Doesn't this look like I, a professional I'll, I'll art? I'll put it on the screen. Doesn't it look like professional <laughs> art? <laughs> it that. looks wonderful. Producer says you're not supposed to get up and walk around. Hey, he's told you that a thousand <laughs> times and you still do it. Six. Oh, look at my pants. And she stands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see what I'm wearing tonight? Did you see these stripes? I saw those so stripes. So with everything insect, you know, I used to work as an entomologist. Mm -hmm. I think I'm supposed to have my hair over here. <laughs> Um, I'm being picky since I'm back. <laughs> oh yeah, Kelly's back. Hi, Kelly. Okay. Um, I used to work and as an entomologist. Yes. Like I collected you bugs were the bug and stuff. Lady. So yeah. I was like really curious when I saw an, a meme come up about stripes on cows. And there was this black cow and it was striped like a zebra. And it was claiming that putting white stripes on a cow will reduce it's getting bitten by like horse flies and cow flies or whatever kind of flies cows get. And uh, instead of having to douse them with these insecticides, right? Or whatever chemicals. So, so I have two things for It you. really works. Cause I have a friend and she is from Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, and she says that during times of the year where they go out with the cattle there, and other livestock, they paint them and themselves, the workers paint themselves with stripes and wear striped clothing to keep the flies away. Okay. It does not though, apparently work for mosquitoes. Okay. It just makes you look like a mime. Okay. I had two things, but <laughs> they just dissolved because I was like wondering where the hell this came from. I'm sure you were too. So, all right. <laughs> 
with that, we're going over to our fishbowl <laughs> question we're... number one. Mm, <laughs> All okay. right. So the fishbowl questions, the fishbowl questions are questions that we get from you guys. Things have changed with the way people shop nowadays. So the majority of these questions come from text messages now. Can you believe it? Yeah, so these messages are from text messages. I think there's actually one of them that somebody actually came into the store, but the rest of them are text messages. So, this one here, this Wait, is a text... What? what are you doing? This, I'm, I'm, this is question number one from You're the fishbowl. You're supposed bowl. to pull it out of the fishbowl. Yeah. We're I've not pulling my, it out of the fishbowl anymore? We're not pulling anymore? out of the fishbowl anymore. Well, yeah. I have new notes. That's just me making notes. Yeah. I didn't ever answer that, but this is just... I thought it was a really quick idea. That was like 15 production. minutes ago. <laughs> okay. But you didn't even cut yours up and put them in there? No, I don't anymore. I just oh, read them off the paper. Oh. Yeah, it's a killer. All right. So, first question is, I live in Arlington, Texas. And I've got, I have got. want to get one of those... Can you say this in a Texas accent? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Texas accent. I live in Arlington, Texas. And I want to get one of them ultra comfort chairs. Y'all had on a video last week. How can I do that? <laughs> You're from El Paso. That's the best you can do. <laughs> in El Paso, yeah, we I don't, don't have accent. Where is that from? Okay. All right. So wow. I live in Arlington, Texas. I live Texas, in Arlington, Texas. Yes. And I want to get one of those ultra comfort chairs you had on a video last week. How can I do that? Yes, from oh. Arlington, Texas, from here to Arlington. Awesome. Just give us up a call yep. or continue shooting us a text. We can do it right there through the text. Mm -hmm. And um, we can make the sale. You can close it uh, right over the phone. We have PayPal and Venmo. Right. Mm -hmm. And we can also take credit cards over the phone. And then we just drop ship those chairs to you right. directly, no matter which state that you're in. Mm -hmm. Now, what about Hawaii? Hawaii. I don't know. We have to check continuous 50 or we continuous 48. We got a lot of people no. we'll that check. just came from Hawaii because yep. we have a military base here. And so yep. we have a lot of Hawaiians. That but as far visit. as far as Arlington, and your, though. And your wife grew up in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. We need to network yeah. with Hawaii. We need Can Hawaii. we get a cruise lined up? No, we're not going to like cruise. Like a hangout? We could do it like a work party thing? Back to yeah. work. <laughs> Back to the chair. So, like um, delivering to anywhere in the continuous United States, because I'm going to put that one there. I don't, know if we do, I don't know if we do Alaska or Hawaii. Continuous United States. Okay. Um, Ultra Comfort will do deliveries. Now, we have options. We have the drop-off, which you were talking about or we have a white glove delivery in which they take it into your house mm -hmm. and they help you set it up and program it. So, if <laughs> if you want to be fancy about white it, glove. we can do the white glove for you. I wish I had my mime gloves. I would, it would go I with wish my you outfit. Didn't. I wish you didn't. <laughs> All right. With that, we're going over to Mel's Crazy. No, I'm not. Yes, we are. It's right here. There's an apostrophe in there. Oh, I've apostrophed for a long time. <laughs> So, what's your crazy hypothetical? Okay, so, Lyle helped me a little bit with this one. That is problem. Because he kind of showed up when I was trying to write all this down uh -huh. real fast because I didn't give myself very much time. So, I no said, I need, a, I need a good hypothetical. So One of us waits until the last minute. If you, if you could breed any animal with stripes that doesn't already have stripes... <laughs> What would it be? Because you can make a lot of money off of this. Think of, like, my mom has a cattle ranch. Like, if she had striped cows, that, that would, would be, be amazing. Kinda, that would help her out quite a bit. I would, I would, ooh, I love llamas, so a striped llama. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be kind of we'll cool. We'll call it, because it, it, it'll be tiger striped, so it'll be a It should be very, llama. It, no, no. A, a lager, a llama. That's not enough llam, stripes a for a llama. Have you ever been to Peru? Do you know how like, colorful everything, including the landscape, is? Like the Rainbow Mountain? So it would be a giraffe? It no. would be a rainbow-colored one. Hmm. It'd have to be bright and vibrant. Oh, I was thinking tiger stripes. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like a llama that was striped. I think that would be very cool. What would you like? Uh, I would want greyhound, sighthound striped dogs. Really? seems logical I mean oh spotted would be kind of cool I've already got kind of spotted yeah stripes well that's called a brindle, a brindle. oh it yeah. already happens yeah I'm like I have <laughs> okay, striped so dogs. that doesn't count <laughs> so, uh, that doesn't have what about an elephant usual 
giraffe, I mean, um, zebra. What? Yeah. Well, most zebras are white on black. Mine was black on white. Ooh, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> I'd go elephant. Yeah, a striped elephant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With that, we're going to take our first break because <laughs> she's killing it today. Hi, guys. It's Gretchen here at Live Well. I wanted to reach out to you and let you know Halloween has officially reached us. Yes, we're a little bit early. <laughs> and no, this is not a trick. This is a total treat. Take a look at what we got. All right, as you come in, we've got some forage here. Come sit a spell. We have some hanging wall features. I'm going really quick and I'm gonna slow down for you because I know you guys are probably staring really quick. All right, start here. We have some nice dish towels. Give me all the booze or drink up, which is those are some of my favorite. And hey, that that right there, that works with the new Hocus Pocus movie. We have a straw hat. We have some really cute scarecrows. And if you like stuff to set out that goes beyond Halloween, he'd be great. That's Simon. And we have some wooden signs back there. Look at those. Those are cute candy corns with stars. We have these wooden blocks, which are candle holders. So if you want to get yourself a candle for a holder, you got it. We got some soft pieces, the stacked pumpkins. Here is a hanging scarecrow named Randy. We got some luminaria pumpkins, so if you would like to put some type of light in there, I wouldn't suggest fire, but some of the flameless candles. And then here are some more of the shelf top sitters. And then we have an apple bucket, and it's got some of the autumn foliage in it. And back behind this witch hat, we have two identical uh, scarecrows on there and they're both named Jackson then we have this cool little hat and it's got all kinds of signage that goes all the way around it and it's bent in the front so you can hang this over the edge of if you have any type of shelf or hearth to hang over it's really nice it just kind of makes it look really cool we have Josh he's our other scarecrow with the pumpkins in there and then down below we have some uh, pillows, excuse me, pumpkin pillows, and there's two of them, so that will go great around your room. And we've got a wooden sign again there, and then followed up with some more of the candle blocks. Now you'll also see this burlap runner with the hand painting on there. It's just beautiful. So if you're looking for some Halloween decor, you want a little one a lot, come see us. We've got it. I hope to see you soon. Trick or treat. I really should. Oh, that's on page two. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, she went through and read, wrote some really good notes. Uh, <laughs> There's a page two. There's a page There's two. There's a page two. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so please read off your puns so that way the audience can laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So. <laughs> You guys get the no, feeling that sometimes awkward. she puts zero effort into the show? Actually, I put an exceptionally large amount into the show. It takes a lot of effort to look this bad. But she makes it look natural. Uh, oh. No, it's not. 
nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't worry. I love to make jokes on the fly. So, here we go. Did you hear about the lightning bug <laughs> that ran that into pun? the bug zapper? A lightning bug that ran into the bug zapper. Okay, no, I did not. <laughs> it was delighted. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's today's item of the day? Actually, I, I remembered what it was for the first time. It's candy. <laughs> so oh, our item of the week is candy. How fun. Uh, so. It's been a long time since we've done the show, so she can't stop okay. giggling. So, yeah. So. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at Kelly the Saber. <laughs> Okay, I have just been told to sit and stay, and I can't reach the candy bar that we were going to taste test. All right, <laughs> he so wasn't going to give me a candy bar. No, I wasn't going to give Everybody her a candy bar. Everybody else in the building has tried one except for me and Kelly. Well, so what do you have? Okay. I paid. <laughs> you freeloader? <laughs> I paid full price for a sucker today. You did. That was an expensive sucker. It's probably the first one she's paid for. <laughs> so <laughs> so we have offer. new flavors of Hammond's candy bars. New flavors. Uh, this one is uh, soda pop. Yep. And pigs and taters. That one is bacon and potato chips in chocolate. That goes with your Texas stuff. Yep. And uh, seaside caramel. Ooh. And birthday cake. Ew. Birthday cake what? is white chocolate with sprinkles. But oh, why? Okay. What about a chocolate birthday cake? No, it's it's white chocolate. <laughs> okay. Nobody so has. So I want to taste test the pigs and taters. Okay, taste test the pigs now, and taters. Uh, this is. Okay, I've been trying to avoid sugars. Know that she hasn't had sugar Teresa? forever. <laughs> In about 10 minutes, she's going to be talking really fast because the sugar will affect her okay. very badly. I'm, I can only have a little bit. Teresa Play back at half speed. does not mm -hmm. want me to do fatty stuff I or sugars. Do it. That's a lot of sugar. Okay, but I should taste the flavor. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm curious And about then this. Kelly's going to have some too. Okay. Why don't you break your steer off a piece and then... Here, Kel. I'm selling the rest. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, we're gonna How save it. To we're gonna save it for customers. Come on, Kel. Oh look, Kelly's being shy about getting on camera. <laughs> this guy plays guitar in the middle of the day. No, actually, we're gonna save these for customers. Okay. All right, oh, guys. Samples. Yes. Okay. So. Look at you being all conservative and spiritual. <laughs> no, I'm 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 saving them for customers. I know a couple of customers that have wanted to try it, and I'm, I'm oh, waiting. Oh yeah, for that's a great in. idea. We can uh -huh. put it under the front counter. Mm -hmm. I like it. Are you going to taste this? We can even divide that in half. Yeah. Are you going to have any? No, I've already had some. You had a whole one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. So this is bacon and potato chip candy bar. What do you guys think? Got me. I like it. Bacon should be on the periodic table. Okay. <laughs> what you got, Giggles? It's very crunchy. <laughs> it's very crunchy. Yes, I I saw that too. Uh huh. A little smoky. Okay. Okay. A little potatoey. A little potatoey with a whole lot of salt, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It literally tastes like a, a Lay's potato chip with, okay. with a chocolate bar. You have to, okay, it comes on later. Mm -hmm. It like almost has to warm up. Okay. Because at first I was afraid I had COVID because I wasn't tasting nothing. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she got COVID from the mosquito that put his proboscis in her eye. No, that was Ezekiel. Whatever. Mm. It's subtle. I thought it was going to be like, bam. No, it's not overwhelming. It's, it's not overwhelming. It's a subtle, okay. smoky, mm -hmm. salty. So remember that one. That one <laughs> was pigs and taters. Okay, that's bacon and potato chips. Now, we have time for one more, so we're going to do one more. Oh, that's why. Now he gets to it. What? <laughs> no. I want, I want to have oh. enough so that way you guys can... Can really taste them. So this okay. one, this I one is. I thought he was is, gonna be stingy and only let us try one. Okay. This one is called soda pop. All so right. this one is pop rocks and Coca Cola candy. Here. Can Kelly. I hand it to Kelly? No, no. you are not getting up. <laughs> it's like it, it. Sometimes it's like hurting cats. I don't know if you guys noticed. Okay. Okay. Notice nobody touched the candy when you. 
Who is that comedian? I have no clue. Okay, so this is Soda <laughs> Pop by Hammond's Candy. What do you got? Okay. Soda Pop by Hammond's Candy. This is Pop Rocks, chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> Kelly, can I have an opinion? Because giggles can't keep up with well, me. Well, I like the taste of it, but there's no pop in the rocks. Mine is popping like crazy. Yeah, mine pop like crazy. You have no pop in your pop rocks? <laughs> soak Move it, it around. soak it some, yeah. Soak Move it, it some. around no, before no, you no, swallow no, it. So much, it. You gotta there, melt <laughs> mine, my, pee, my candy bar that I ate of this one, it had so much pop that we were like, both of us were like, what the heck? So you're popping like crazy, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. <laughs> you must be I don't, echoing in her. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All that space. <laughs> 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 Kelly, could it's you like, put a sound effect for the experience look, here? Okay. Mm -mm. Now I'm getting nope, something. Nope, you will not get up. You will not get up. <laughs> you will not. Nope, 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 nope. No. Yeah, no. But now I'm getting some like way at the back of my throat. Yeah, yeah. I bet She's, if I got close enough to the microphone. Uh -uh. No, Kelly will put like a sound Debbie effect Depp? right here. <laughs> and that will be what it sounds like with the pop box. Okay, it's like the problem is, this is why I'm laughing so hard, is that I'm not feeling the pop rocks in my mouth. <laughs> They're up hmm. like at the back of my throat. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. And if you did not tell I a customer, to because we're right obviously here. losing control of the show, well, I'm gonna take one extra break right here. better now I'm gonna survive but it's okay. still popping all right well <laughs> we had to take that emergency break because one of us was having a giggle attack and are you fine you're, you're better now take a deep breath <gasps> I wish I had a popping pun all right all right with that <laughs> oh, we're gonna go to question number two once again these questions are from you <laughs> our customers these are questions that we get just because uh, you guys need answers for helping you shop and everything. Yep, question number two is, did you know that the inventor of the clapper also did a bug zapper? No, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. What's it, it called? It was called Zap On, Zap Off. All right, so once again, these questions are from you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> did you hear crickets? I heard crickets. <clears throat> I just heard pop rocks. <laughs> If you would like a question answered, please submit them to info at livewellfurnishings.com, info at livewellfurnishings.com, or you could go to any of our social media and DM us, or you can get on our website and a little icon in the lower, what is that, right hand corner where you chat, you can just submit your questions there. This one right here, I believe, nope, not this one, the, the last one was, the last one was chat. So this one was actually an in-store customer. So. We need something for our pillow, a protector, but I don't want those. I don't want one of those plastic ones that gets too hot. What do you have available? Oh yes, because they have uh, protectors that are like water resistant, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. spill proof. They also mm -hmm. have some that are uh, bed bug and dust mite mm -hmm. protection, mm -hmm. but they can get really thick and kind of plasticky feeling. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so. Straight pop rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. And so <laughs> that was a new noise. <laughs> so we are ordering and we'll be featuring mattress protectors by Pure Care. Yes. Uh, and those are infused with silver chloride, mm -hmm. I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they are also uh, offer bed bug protection and uh, dust mite protection. And but they're, they're moisture right. uh, resistant mm -hmm. as well. And they're cooling. They have mm -hmm. like some science in there, like mica, porcelain type science that and you'll be draws trying one out. the heat away from your body mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it'll keep you cool so especially if you've purchased one of our cooling pillows we recommend adding a mattress or adding a protector to it 
And if you lo love your pillow so much, you're going to want to travel with that pillow everywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you go ahead and purchase the two, then you're double protected. Right. Because you can't have enough protection. Yes. All right. <coughs> are, you, are you okay? All right. With that, we're going to go. I think I had. Actually, we're going to have to take another <laughs> break. So we're going to a third break. We'll be right back. Help a girl out. That's done. Moving your bed base now. And uh, so one other item that we I wanted to feature. Oh, other than the Pop Rock <laughs> candy bar, thank God is that we also will have seasonal Hammonds. We have a full line of Hammonds candies. We've got Sours behind me. We also have um, organic uh, lollipops, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna bring in our Christmas candies, yep. holiday candies. Wait till you see the candy canes. I can't and, wait to tell uh, you about <laughs> They're gonna be awesome. Uh, we've got Cocos and stuff coming in too, so, but Oliver wanted to try one of the Sucker Pops today, and okay. he chose a blue one. So, and you paid full price for it. I did, because yeah. I'm an honest employee. <laughs> Maybe a bit too honest at times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so tell me about this blue lollipop that he had, because here's a really nice picture of him. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely in his blue phase. <clears throat> that child. <laughs> so it will turn your tongue blue. Yeah, so be aware. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to go on to question number three. Question number three, once again, these are questions that you guys have given us throughout the week. This one was brought on by chat. Um, so, I saw an ad about salient sheets. This is your forte. Mm, I love those, yeah. I know <clears throat> that there is exercise clothing with salient in it, but what would sheets do for you? Wouldn't wearing them after a workout be better? Oh, as opposed to during? Right. Actually, right. Uh, so you could wear salient all day long. Okay. Okay. Um, but at nighttime, the reason why the salient sheets are so beneficial is that uh, you are... Oh, that's a tough question. Mm -hmm. To recover after? Yeah, would it be better to wear exercise clothing after a workout or would it be better to have salient sheets at night? Well, you could have both. Is mm -hmm. that where you're going? No. So, okay. Uh, Ooh, I stumped her on this one. She's actually done all the salient research. All I did was, did was skim over oh, the Oh, what points. would sheets do for you? Okay. Yes. That was just a, I was really trying to figure out this thing. Question. I was think I was overthinking it. <laughs> okay, so the sheets when our bodies go to rest, mm -hmm. there's a huge recovery that happens, okay. and there's a lot of processes that occur. Uh, and in order for our body to fully heal and like detoxify itself, because at certain parts of the nighttime our our liver cleanses itself and our kidneys, um, we need to achieve a deep circadian rhythm and stay within our sleep cycles. When we go away from those, then we cause damage on our cells and our body, mm -hmm. and it leads to other disease. So <clears throat> during salient, it puts your body into homeostasis, mm -hmm. which helps to regulate your body temperature, um, your blood pressure, and, and kind of those things. Your oxygen levels. Oxygen levels, mm -hmm. kind of, it, you kind of go into like auto cruise. Like, it, like think about putting your that car in cruise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, Mm -hmm. cruise <clears throat> that's what it feels like and you just kind of don't have as many nighttime awakenings so that's when we recover most now during active exercise i would expect that it would increase blood oxygen mm -hmm. and that's where it would be beneficial or if you're wearing a hat when you're studying you know we you, it could benefit you during the daytime but the, these sheets are titled recovery for that specific reason mm -hmm. is during the nighttime part yep. of your your recovery yep yeah <laughs> salient is real uh i can't tell you how how real because it's done amazing things for me at home with my sleep and it helps you with your pain mm -hmm. and we've Big had time. customers actually we had a customer today that came in and 
uh, told us that she's prescribing them, <laughs> prescribing them for all her to family. All her friends and yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. Um, they make a difference. Uh, they are, they're, they're, they're not going to be your run of the mill pricing because they're, they're real. They're, they're going to last you, but I will tell you, they're real. They're, they're, there's nothing cheap about them, but it's worth every penny. In my opinion, it's been worth every penny. What about you? Um, I think that they're worth every penny and I can't wait to purchase another sheet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. set. <clears throat> and I think that's what I would like to give as gifts this year for Christmas Very as good well. Idea. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the most beneficial gift you could give a family member. Yep. Um, this is going to be expensive <clears throat> for me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I think that, um, you know, if you can afford that, but like we think of our parents, you know, mm -hmm. and, and how our parents are getting older mm -hmm. and, and some of the health concerns, those could help alleviate some of that. My daughter's parents aren't getting older. Well, her mom <laughs> is, but not her dad. Her da her, my daughter's dad is not getting older. Have you uh, noticed? So anyways, <laughs> I love salient sheets. I highly recommend them. All right. All right. Well, it is Stare time. The bomb. It is time for my favorite part of the show, and if you've ever watched the show before, you know my favorite part is stop the jump. So, are you ready for this? Yes. All right. Are you are, are you ready? I am ready. All right. So, what is your first question? How many hours a day does the average chimpanzee need compared to a humanoid? Of sleep. Need what? Of How many sleep. hours of sleep? Did I not say? No, sleep? you. you <laughs> So when you spend hours you on your show notes, <laughs> Kelly, if you could show the show notes again here, <laughs> it would be great if, <laughs> if you could read those show notes. So how many hours of sleep does a okay. chimpanzee <clears throat> need? How many hours of sleep does a chimpanzee need? Okay. So <laughs> the chimpanzee would need sleep, right? <laughs> I would say that a chimpanzee would sleep somewhere way. between 15 to 16 <clears throat> hours a day. I bet you they sleep all the time. Nope, wrong. In a 24-hour period, their average is 9.5. Really? I did see an average that was a little bit higher at 11 on a different link, but the average is only 9.5 hours. So wow. So they're healthy, very much like us. A healthy chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. Now, they take daytime naps. Okay. But that is saying like in so a 24-hour period. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's called a siesta. Uh -huh. So did the, well, what did the, the French call it? Mm. Le nap. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, the whole show has been funny. <laughs> All right. So, nine point five hours. Yeah. So we humans, mm -hmm. okay, bringing this back to the human level, uh, we sleep shorter but have a deeper average okay. sleep than the average chimp. Oh. So humans sleep shorter periods. We're like seven to eight. Uh huh. Uh, but chimps. But we're deeper sleep. We're deeper sleep. Oh, interesting. So we probably dream more than they do. Oh, very cool. <clears throat> very, very cool. All right. My first question is, what are three foods that have been linked to child time nightmares? Three foods? Pickles. Yes. No. Mm. Spicy foods. Very good. Yes. Okay. That's one. And spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yes. Pasta. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, I saw this grasshopper that had been pickled with these pickles in a jar that somebody got from the grocery store. That would give me tears. Oh, yeah. I think that's why All right. pickles. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to say right? no to that one. And I'm, I'm going to tell you it's sugar, cheese, cheese, sugars, oh. spicy foods, chocolates, those. pastas, pizza, and milk. Now, that took about every damn food that there is and That's put it like into a causing kid's... child time nightmares. So what are you supposed to feed them? What are you supposed to feed them? I don't know. Wait. that, But literally, they that's about every lovers. food that you would choose. Spicy to... foods, sugar, chocolate, uh -huh. and pizza milk. Kids love all those things. So you're supposed to give your child food. a salad before oh, bed. Oh, but those Yay. hot... Th look at, think about those chips, those fl flammable flammables that make their fingers all red. Yeah. Yeah, let's not think about that. Okay, second Maybe question from you. Maybe we should start feeding our kids salads for dinner. Because every child wants a salad for dinner. <laughs> it's going to make you so popular. All right, go for it. Hummus. What do you got? It's your question. Second Hummus. question. Hummus. And meat and broccoli. Potatoes. 
Oh, okay. Potatoes and steak. Carrots? Yeah. I steak used to and love potatoes? Them. Yeah. Yeah, there Pork you go. And potatoes in a chocolate bar. Ooh, yeah. That's going to give me a weird dream. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? We're You're reading your second question. question. Okay, yes. that's where my finger said to. <laughs> Her finger's on it. She's yeah. looking at it saying, yeah. what am I doing? By the time we get to the end of the week and the end of the business day, I'm, I'm a mess. Can you tell? Okay. How many times is sleep mentioned in the Bible? Have you read the Bible? I don't remember sleep <laughs> being mentioned in there, but go. This sleep, okay, I've typed, typed this into Google. Okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And sleep is the most often discussed in Psalms, Proverbs, okay. and Genesis. Okay. It's mentioned in 26 books. Wow. Quote, sleep, okay. And occurs 70 times in the King James Version. How very interesting. <clears throat> so... Uh, now, being, you know, necessarily non-denominational or depending on whatever your beliefs are, mm -hmm. studies have shown that meditation and prayer mm -hmm. combined with a healthy sleep hygiene improves your overall quality of sleep. Very Just spending time putting the phone down and having a good nighttime ritual. That also includes your own form of meditation and prayer. That's huge. So that's why we are, are talking about that too. Little Bible here, a Bible uh, trivia here too. Look at so us. That's we're we're expanding awesome. our horizons beyond sleep and including <clears throat> sleep in Bible trivia. Very interesting. So, well, that's you know, actually really like, think about like what people typically do before they go to bed. We're listening to the news, reading the evening news, nighttime news, and no. it's just horrible right when now. We're reading. Uh, Reading would be better, yeah. But think about the people that don't read before. Now, if you changed it over, all of my to... customers read. <laughs> all of our customers should read more. So, Watch it. yeah, okay, go right. for it. All right, I surprised you with that one. Yeah, that was see, a good that one. Coming. That was a really good one. Okay, <laughs> what are three things that a parent can do to calm a child after a nightmare? Oh, it's Maybe hard to wake. And potato chips. Like if they wake up in the middle of the night crying, sometimes it's hard to arouse them from their sleep. Okay. Did I use that word right? Sure. Probably not. I don't think uh, it's... Spanish was my first language, so I'm like, mm, I just use words every all the time. Rouse. I just throw them out. I don't think it's aroused. I think it's rouse. That is. Terrible. Sometimes it's hard to wake them up when they're in a nightmare. There you go, English. Okay. <laughs> so. We lost Mel. We're oh, losing her. Let me just dig myself out of that hole. <laughs> what are okay. three things a parent can do to calm a child after ah. a nightmare? I don't know because they're hard okay. to wake up. They're like, they're. I'm going to give you four. Okay. Um, let's see. A glass of water. Okay. No. Number one, the, fr the biggest step, the best step is you listen to them. You talk to them about what's scaring them. Talk oh, to them about their sense. fear. Okay? okay. Number two <laughs> is you, as a parent, as a power figure, have to shoo the monsters away. So you literally, and you've seen this. Oh, you, look you, for you go in the closet. Oh, you go the underneath the bed. Lights. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. fun. Okay. Number three is you have to incorporate the child's imagination into the resolve of there are no such things, and you make magic to keep the nightmares away. Okay. Mm -hmm. The number four is you give the child a nighttime weapon like a flashlight. Or a lightsaber. Exactly. You give them mm -hmm. a nighttime weapon like a flashlight or a lightsaber, and that will scare the monsters away. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Those are yeah. all really yeah. good. Or <laughs> if you were my mom, you bought a Chucky doll, and you put it across the room for me because that is how we handled things. <laughs> that explains a lot. Doesn't it though? Oh my goodness. All okay. right. <laughs> what is your third question? Okay. Question number three. Name as many things as you can that refer to proper sleep hygiene. Go. As many things as I can that refer to proper sleep hygiene. Okay. Um, schedule. Um, routine. Uh, am I on the right 
Well, you should pick up the pace a little bit. Yes, you are doing right. Uh, Sleep, schedule, <laughs> schedule, routine. Uh huh. Um, uh, You're gonna that's make a long show. It. Yeah. I don't oh know. man, Lyle had you beat. Lyle had like 20 by now. Oh wow. Environment. Mm hmm. Lights, devices. <laughs> I only food, know that because I've heard the question before. Food. Room temperature. Your sheets. The type of sheets if they keep too much and body your heat. Kid not turning on and off a lightsaber. <laughs> uh, Devices, yeah. Sounds, barking dogs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kids, um, doors that can wake you up if somebody's getting up and down at night. So all of those things, there's probably like so many things connected. Like if you were to draw a sleep hygiene and then like spin off of it with a bunch of ideas. So with one question, you just made me feel like a complete loser. Well, that's the whole point of the show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one, and I was like, you, what? You, all you do is make I, me look like I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm trying hard. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> the, third, the third question. <laughs> third question. Aren't you glad I'm back? <laughs> <laughs> do nightmares necessarily uh, coincide with wetting the bed? No. No, no, not at all. Uh, Wetting the bed can happen for multiple reasons. It could be uh, sleep deprivation. It could be diet. Uh, drinking too close to bedtime. Very rarely is it like terror involved or like a you know like emotionally involved. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> sometimes if they ha are constipated, mm -hmm. they may uh, wet the bed. So there can be a lot of factors. Or if they go into a really deep sleep, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> they can wet the bed too. Mm -hmm. So because if they're sleep deprived, then they just kind of go to sleep and then at the very we, we're supposed to have three cycles mm -hmm. and at the if we haven't slept well in the first two cycles and we then our bodies kind of go into panic mode and hormonally will Try take us into a really us. deep sleep mm -hmm. so we go wheel, wheel, and then we go wow yep. and that's why like most of our most vivid dreams come early morning yep so seldom are bedwetting and nightmares associated very mm -hmm. seldom there was not a, a a percentage or anything, but the word seldom was used in several of the readings that I did on that question. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. So I thought this was a really good show. Yeah, it was. And I yeah. got it all down on one thing. All down. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. really helpful to have somebody to, to talk out today. So yeah. thank you, Lyle. And yeah. uh, it, he, he when I said that to him, because I thought some of that was good, uh, he says it takes two to make a brain fart. <laughs> So that was a quote. I think I we should so put that. Happy. I think we should put that on a T-shirt. I was so happy right up until that last thing. <laughs> I so have a joke with for that. You. Oh, yeah. Kelly, please tell the joke. I have a joke for this you. This is Kelly telling a joke on our way out the door. <laughs> well, you've still got to eat well to go. Yeah, boss. <laughs> we haven't eaten well this week. We do. But that was not the joke. Okay. Uh, eat well. What part of the schedule is that on? Is that's that... the last part of the. That's the last yeah, part of the show. Okay. Cool. Last week I introduced show. an eat you well, and she told me that me. there wasn't one. No, it's. I'm. We're going to refer back to episode seven. Proper okay. sleep hygiene. Oh. This okay. Week. You, do you want to hear your joke? <laughs> <sighs> Why did the butterflies not go to the dance? Why well, did the butterflies not go to the dance? Because it was a mothball. <laughs> Here's Eat Well to Live Well. That's a good one, Kelly. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Melanie, and this is Eat Well to Live Well. Ah, sleep. That wonderful and magical, relaxing experience we're all searching for. In our last episode of Eat Well to Live Well, I discussed the benefits of incorporating reishi mushroom tea before bedtime. But are you still finding yourself searching for a better, more restorative sleep experience? It can be quite frustrating. But remember, in order for our bodies to make the most of the supplements we're taking, they must also accompany a balanced nutrition and proper sleep hygiene. So what exactly is sleep hygiene? Well, it starts with your morning cup of joe. That's right, a good night's rest starts with a good morning routine the day before. My most favorite part of my morning is that first cup of coffee. Coffee has some pretty incredible health benefits as long as you don't cancel those out with too much cream and sugar. 
Make sure to stop drinking caffeine early in the afternoon though because too much caffeine can keep you awake for hours and disrupt your circadian rhythms late into the night. Proper sleep hygiene also means limiting your blue light exposure from all of your devices. Be sure to go into your display settings and select a warm filter for evening and nighttime use. You can even limit the amount of blue light exposure by switching your device to dark mode. Another great way of limiting your exposure is by purchasing eyeglass lenses with a special blue light filter if you spend a great deal of time in front of a computer screen. One of my most helpful practices that I have found to help me get to bed earlier is by doing meal prep on my days off. By planning ahead of time and freezing meals for later, I no longer stress out about cooking and cleaning every night before work. Who knew the most important and challenging part of our adulthood would be what is to cook for dinner each night. If you find yourself craving something sweet before bedtime each night, look for healthy and creative ways to curb those cravings. Did you know that a handful of black tart cherries and just two kiwis can help you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer? Cherries are high in natural melatonin and have pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties similar to ibuprofen. Kiwis are packed high with vitamin C and they greatly improve our respiratory health. Kiwis are also high in magnesium and potassium, both of which help our muscles to relax at nighttime. You might be surprised to learn that kiwis are packed with serotonin, a precursor to melatonin. And most importantly, make sure you have a solid nighttime self-care routine. Taking a shower before bedtime can help relieve stress and relax tense muscles. It also helps lower your body temperature slightly to help you fall asleep faster. Stretching and yoga are very helpful in preparing your body and mind for the sleep journey ahead. You may even find reading something inspirational is helpful along with meditation and prayer. Try to think of at least three things you are grateful for before closing your eyes each night. If you still can't sleep quickly, journal your ideas and tasks that are keeping you awake and then let it go. I hope you found this week's Eat Well to Live Well helpful and inspirational. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos on a better night's rest. Until next time. I remember that one, that one was a good one. Oh, I like it a lot. So mm -hmm. there's a lot that, that occurs with proper sleep hygiene. Yep, yep. I think the most important one, and I think the hardest one to keep is uh, a, a consistent bedtime, because mm -hmm. there's so many distractions that come up, mm -hmm. uh, and we're so busy um, all of the time. But, you know, trying to make sure that it's exactly at that time, Yep. Uh, it, it helps everyone. Mm -hmm. So we need to, to really focus on that. Especially with young children. They need a set bedtime. Definitely. All right, with that, we're going to let you go. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you are a true fan. If you haven't made it this far, then you haven't seen this, so it doesn't matter. But thank you, guys. Please, if this has helped you in any way, please share this with your friends. Subscribe to our social media channel so we can share these tips with you. And we will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye.